Hey everybody, I am Brady Briggs. Welcome to another episode of the Combat Logic. What's up guys today i got a little rant to go over and that is the fight between shane burgos and charles jordan no i'm not saying that i disagree strongly with the decision no i did score charles jordan as the winner um 29 28 or 29 27 i think are acceptable cards but nonetheless what i want to go over at first the scores read 29 28 29 28 and 28 28 okay both 29 28s obviously were for burgos no my initial thought on this was okay all three judges gave shane the first round all three judges gave shane the second round all three gave jordan the third with one judge scoring the third a 10 8 for jordan that's not what happened okay so i want to go over these scorecards really quick so you can have a better understanding here Okay, so two judges gave Burgos the first round, 10-9, and then one judge gave Jordan the first round, 10-9. All three judges gave Burgos the second round, and, you know, deservedly so. He definitely won that second round pretty dominantly, too. Um, two judges scored that 10-9 for Burgos. One judge scored it 10-8 for Burgos. It's like, okay, all right. Now, the third round, all three judges gave Jordan 10-9 which just baffles me <laughs> it truly baffles me especially for that one judge one of those judges that the judge that gave burgos the 10-8 in round two and then give jordan a 10-9 in the third how the fuck can you possibly how like it, it had to have been a hometown advantage thing him fighting in long island um where he's from because dude how how in the hell is that second round a 10-8 for Burgos and the third is a 10-9 for Jordan. Burgos had like four minutes of control time of back mount on Jordan in the second round. It was a dominant round. I'm not arguing a 10-8. I'm not saying that's the wrong score. 10-9 or 10-8, both good scores. Um, same as the third round, 10-9 or 10-8 for Jordan is sufficient. But how in the fuck are you going to give Burgos the second round 10-8 and then watch the next five minutes play out and not give Jordan a 10-8 in that round? That was so much more dominant than Burgos was over him. Like, yeah, Burgos controlled him. Jordan fucked him up for five straight minutes in the third round. Like, I just that's straight up despicable. Like, Jordan is really catching his stride lately, man. And he's got more grit and more pure, like, fight in him like he's a straight dog dude he's got more fight in him than just about anybody watch the third round of all of his fights his third round against marcelo rojo his third round against shane burgos his third round against andre yule like dude he is a fearless fearless warrior in that third round every time like winning means a hell of a lot to him and it makes me sad because decisions like this can take fighters motivation away it's happened before where people lose a shitty decision. And I'm not saying this is the worst decision, but I mean, I do think Jordan won the fight. But you do that much, especially in the third round, you come on that strong, you finish the fight that dominantly to where most people think you won and then you lose it and you get half of your check. Like that takes fighters' motivation away pretty frequently. And I'm worried of that happening because I love Charles Jordan. He is a true dude, he's a true fighter, man. And the first thing I thought when these two stepped in there, and I've said this for a while, but dude, Shane Burgos has got to be the biggest featherweight of all time. He's got to be. He looked like he was at least a full weight class above Jordan. It was like when Max Holloway fought Dustin Poirier the second time, like at least a whole weight class apart. It's remarkable to me how Shane Burgos makes 146 pounds. That motherfucker is so big. Like he's 5'11", 75 and a half inch reach, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 75 and a half inches. Like, dude, Conor McGregor was big for a featherweight, okay? He was 5'9 with a 74 inch reach. Shane Burgos is a fucking behemoth for 145 pounds. And Charles Jordan still took it to him. 
All right. So that first round, yeah, it's very close. Is is a pretty close round. I scored it for Jordan, but I got I could see you giving it to Burgos. And yeah, Burgos definitely won the second round. And Jordan won the third round more dominantly than either of the first two went. So um I really want to call this judge. Oh fuck, I wish I knew what his name was. This article is not stating his name, but to whoever gave Shane Burgos a 10 8 in round two and then gave Charles Jordan a 10 9 in round three. You're a fucking idiot, and I really, really hope you never judge another fight again. And I know you're going to. It makes me so sick. It's so sad, dude. People like this should not get fucking licensed. And, you know, this is a problem with athletic commissions. These people are appointed by the athletic commission. They're not hired by the UFC. They have nothing to do with mixed martial arts. They work for the state's athletic commission, and it's a big problem. It's been a big problem for a long time. And scorecard, a scorecard like this, the other two scorecards I can't really disagree with, even though I thought Jordan won the first round, it was close. I could see Burgos winning it too. So for those two to give the first round to Shane Burgos, it's, it's all right. Not to mention... This guy that scored the second, a 10-8 for Burgos and a 10-9 for Jordan in the third, he scored the first round for Jordan. So he literally took Jordan's win, again, win away from him with this 10-8 scorecard, making it a draw. And it would have been a split decision if, you know, he didn't do that. So really, he would have still lost. But, dude, it's inexcusable. It's straight up inexcusable. What do you guys think? Do you think Jordan deserved a 10-8 in round three, considering this fucker gave Virgos a 10-8 in round two? Thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel. If you like my videos, I'll surely have some more out soon. Hey! Hey! Hey!